Hi folks, it's Robin Clayton and I'm here once again with Zodi C at the farm to present to you today another beautiful a garden glass flower for your home or for your garden. So I hope that you'll stay with me because I'm going to give you my tips from A to Z on how to make this beautiful glass flower for your home or for your garden. Okay, see you soon. Okay folks, let's go over a quick list of items that you're going to need to complete this project. So the first and foremost things that I always mention are your gloves and your protective eyewear, preferably safety goggles when working with this glass. You're going to need a little bit of water when cutting through the glass. You're going to need either a Ryobi cordless drill with a diamond tipped drill bit or a drill press. If you do have a drill press, again, I highly encourage you to use it. It is more efficient and it uh, helps to uh, prevent uh, the breakage of the glass. So if you have a drill press, please use it. All right, we're gonna need some washers, all right? Rubber washers, again, like I said, the diamond tipped drill bit. You're gonna need a toggle and its bolts, the toggle bolt. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna need a hanging hook if you're mounting this outside along with a chair cover because it will mount right inside there. You're going to need a uh, measuring tape to measure your dishes and you're going to need uh, some Windex to clean all the grime and everything off so that your dishes look absolutely wonderful. And the last thing that you're gonna need is all of your plates ready to go, cleaned as you want them to appear upon completion of this particular piece. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna move on to is the cutting stage of this. See you soon. Okay, folks, we are here at the cutting stage of this particular piece that I'm working on. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on, very important. And uh, I also have my stabilizer here that I'm going to place directly underneath this so when I use my cordless drill, the drill bit will pierce that piece of wood as opposed to uh, breaking the glass. So I'm gonna move it a little bit forward to me. And that's right in the center where I can see it. I've already marked the center as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water here. And I'm gonna put, just real quick, I'm gonna put a new drill bit on my drill. I just like to do that. I think it's uh, highly uh, advantageous to do that when working uh, with a new piece. I'm going to test it out, make sure everything is working properly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start my drill at a 45 degree angle. All right, I'm going to start really, really slow. I put a little bit of water there. And then as soon as that drill cuts into that glass, I'm going to move it straight up slowly into a 90 degree angle until I pierce this piece of glass. All right, so here we go. Okay folks, so now that we've completed the main piece, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the smaller piece over at my drill press. Okay, see you soon. All right, folks, I'm over at my drill press station and I've got this one piece of glass that I'm about to cut here. This is my uh, smaller flower petal that will be going on that larger piece to hold my orb. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up here. Got my water that I'm gonna 
Go ahead and assign it and set up this up to make sure that it's right on center here. And we are ready to go. Okay, folks, I've already put a hole in this particular flower petal that we're going to be using today, but I'm cleaning it off real good just because I want it to be cleaned prior to assembly. Okay, folks, okay, let's go ahead and get started with assembly. I'm going to go ahead and bring this camera down so you can see how I'm assembling this gorgeous piece. Okay, see you soon. Let's go ahead and get started here. I've got my hook, I've got my toggle bolt, and I've got my rubber washer and I'm going to put that straight through just like that. Then I'm going to grab my bowl and I'm going to put that hook straight through just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take another rubber washer and place it right there in the center. And then I'm going to take my next beautiful piece and put that right there right in the center followed by another washer that will go right there in the middle just like that then i've got my other flower petal this beautiful golden flower petal and i'm going to take another washer and stick that washer down just like that so let me turn this around see that here's my toggle go ahead and start getting that toggle started and just like that and then I'm going to take my beautiful pink orb I'm going to press that straight through just like that until it catches and then pull it back just like that okay. and then I'm going to carefully turn this piece around and turn it over on its side. I'm gonna use my Ryobi cordless screwdriver and make sure that it's in the forward position. And I'm just going to carefully tighten in spurts. And I do this in spurts so that I don't break the glass. Okay, so then I'm going to take my next screwdriver, my standard screwdriver, and tighten it up. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this over and adjust. And let me turn it around so you can see this. Wow, I think that looks amazing. The beautiful hues of the golds and the roses and the reds and the greens and the yellows such an amazing piece turn it to the side so you can see it and then i'll turn it over take it back see an amazing amazing piece okay so now i'm going to show you what this looks like on a stand stay with me okay here's my stand this is one of my favorite stands. Even though it's a two-piece, I still love this stand. It's absolutely amazing. It holds the weight that I need it to hold. Okay, so I'm gonna place my stand down here on my table. Get this aligned correctly. And here we go. There it is on the stand. I think that looks so beautiful. There it is from the side so you can see the dimensions. There it is from the rear. This piece is really, really colorful. It's just got so many beautiful different colors in it. That's what I love about it so much. It's absolutely magnificent. Maybe one more view of this. And there it is. This beautiful 
beautiful glass flower. I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, now let me show you real quick on uh, on a stand on what this looks like if you mounted it outside. So stay with me. Okay, here's a stand that I normally use uh, to demonstrate this. So I'm just gonna take my pole and I'm going to take the back of this the back of this piece it's got my hanging hook and I'm gonna stick that right inside and push that down just like that okay so it sits snug as a bug in a rug and here it is on the stand get to the back show it to you from the front Isn't that magnificent? I think it absolutely looks so beautiful. Try it one more time to the rear. And here it is from the front. And that's so beautiful. I hope you love it as much as I do. All right, folks, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me here at Zodi C at the farm. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the creation of this beautiful uh, glass flower that I created here today. If you have any questions or you're interested in purchasing any of these pieces, you can find them on my website at www.zodiceatthefarm.com. If you have any comments or questions, you can list them in the uh, comment section below. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today. I hope you have a blessed blessed week and I hope to see you next time here at Zodi C at the farm. Many blessings sent your way. Take care. Bye-bye.